In this video, I will be shaving with Gentleman's Knot Musachi number two, numero dos. Great soap set, very unique and wonderful creation from an awesome artisan. Coming right up. Hi, welcome back. So I will be doing a quick hump day shave with this fabulous creation from Gentleman's Knot. This is in the C4 plus base, I believe it is, which is somewhere in here. Yeah, it's right in there. Eve, some improve, improvements were made. This is a, this is a soap, uh, quite soft soap, I might say, which is my first time lathering. I will take this much with this shovel looking spoon, stainless steel spoon. When I begin to uh, whip, and I, it's quite soft, almost, it's like a crop, it's like crop which is a definition that we use in the wet shaving world to describe very soft soaps. As you saw in the beginning of the video, in the introduction, is the setup that I will be using, um, which is this uh, driftwood brush. I'm gonna be using a Badger silver tip brush, and they tend to be lather hogs what i mean is mean is that um, the brush will absorb and eat a lot of the soap but i got a way around it and um, we'll be shaving with carbon with my carbon uh, razor let me put this right here this is the standard plate stainless steel and i will be using sorry i'm, I'm just not timing this very well my apologies this is the carbon right there see and already loaded is the shark platinum blades second use i did shave on monday so this is wednesday and i'm shaving two days of growth more or less and uh let's uh begin this let me whip up the lather real quick and uh then i will be talking a little bit more about the soap. I'm almost done. As you can see, I reached the consistency that I like on my shaving. See those peaks? Very hydrated lather. And uh, just to get in to know the soap, you will be uh, gauging the amount of soap if you're bowl lathering or if you're um, loading from the puck, how much soap you need in order to have the shave that you're looking for. Very fragrant soap. I will be posting the ingredients right there. Soap ingredients are so important and as you uh, go and compare other bases from other artisans they are very good overall but what you look for is the balance at the end of the day between scent protection this
and uh, not to get any uh, any allergies from it. Based on frag fragrance burn or uh, any other uh, particular allergy that you might have. So let me do a quick shave right here. Hope everybody's doing okay. I believe this is video 79. This is my last video. I've been very busy with work and family matters. So. No, not much time to uh, do videos. But I hope uh, I've been watching videos on YouTube on the background. not commenting and most of them practicing my two-handed shave technique so I can shave with both hands makes it easier when you're um, straight razor shaving Post shave on this soap is very, very good. This is my first experience with this base. I have the previous Cardinal base from the collaboration with Saharov and uh, their first collaboration. I think it was like two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna be doing pass number two this carbon razor is very efficient and I found that those sharp platinums are very good and efficient. Use the same setup of a razor and blade on Monday. I shaved with a different soap, not this one. And I was very pleased. Maybe off camera I can uh, gauge the durability of that blade. First time using that shark blade. I've, I've been using the shark stainless ones. I'm made by Lord in Egypt. Just spitting soap all over. Very, very thick yogurt like lather, which to me is a great job. Gentlemen's Nod headquarters are based on in Omaha, Nebraska. I saw a live shave. Not a live shave, a live artisan spotlight. that he did with the racer company, I think a month ago. He was talking about this soap. And other, other creations that he has done. Already acquired the Saharov leather tobacco soap and soap set, which I'll be show, showcasing in the next couple of days. Got a couple of soaps in my rotation for April. Moving forward, off the puck is amazing, as well as this one. So, very good. Already rinsed. It is very, very good. Let me, uh, let me do the aftershave real quick. Haven't talked that much about the soap. I was more um, paying attention because <clears throat> if I shave and start like talking a lot or reading, 
I, uh, it's my experience that I cut myself so easy. So let, uh, let's talk a little bit more about the, the soap. So the fragrance is intended, reading from uh, Gentleman's Not uh, website, the fra this is fragrance is intended to invoke feelings of walking from an isolated coast region with the fresh zest of citrus, a sweetness, sweetness of nashy pear. As you move inland into the slightly higher elevation, jasmine tea, florals, and spice dominate the fragrance, which is it's kind of linear, but it has its nuances. Ultimately, as you journey, as your journey continues in, into yet higher forested elevation, the fragrance again transform into a more earthy and woodsy mix, reminiscent of the damp forest floor and ancient firs. Um, it's a very unique, very pleasant, and uh, I believe, in my own on my opinion, I just got the, the uh, aftershave splash, the set. But uh, to complete the whole experience, I definitely believe that you should get the the other parfum to complete the trifecta because oh, alcohol based splash, I can feel it. Very refreshing and nourishing. Great stuff. Great stuff. Overall, from the puck, the scent is uh, out of 10. I might say it's uh, 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Or from 1 to 5 is uh, 3.5, in my opinion. The splash is quite, it's a little bit more um, oak mossy and earthy with a hint of citrus. And it's also slightly above mid-range, but very pleasant and uh, great smelling. My experience with Gentleman's Nut is that their fragrances carry throughout the day, probably into the four or five hour. You can, you can smell the scent. Four hour range is, is more of a skin scent. So thank you very much uh, for uh, watching the video if you made it this far. Uh, please consider and subscribe to the ch to the channel, and uh, I welcome your comments. And uh, thank you. Next video is gonna be number eighty. Can't wait to get to a hundred um, since I started. So yeah, my opinion overall, highly recommended. So uh, make yourself uh, comfortable acquiring the set. It's a great set if you like the scent notes and description that I. Um, that I uh, put in my in my video and also that I told you. Don't hesitate and uh, probably next video is gonna be in Spanish. So, mis amigos en español, estaré enviándole aviso para un video en español. So, uh, until next time, Carlito Shaves is out of the house.